hey good morning happy valentine's day i just dropped off two of my three valentines at school other one is working herself and uh looking forward to them returning back home this evening but until then i'll be doing my side hustles yesterday was one of the slowest days i've had in a while um, today I just picked up a $20 order that's a great way to start the day man great way um, what else it's cold today it's 20 and some light snow but being a little bit chilly obviously makes these deliveries a little bit more difficult with your hands but I got some thin gloves I can find the beauty in the weather I'm usually good if it's over 30 degrees um, but this is still not too bad. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. Uh, what else is going on? Today is the last of my four days off. I rotate Tuesdays off every two weeks and the restaurant is closed Wednesdays and we're regularly closed Sundays and Mondays. So Wednesdays hit different for me depending on the rotation. If I work Tuesdays, obviously it's, it's not quite as long a break. I really just give it my all on Tuesday, make a few extra dollars, and then you kind of earn this Wednesday a little bit, I feel like. And it takes the pressure off of gigging and delivering. But when I don't work Tuesdays, I get a little bit less in the mood. Um, Wednesdays aren't quite as happy, you know, because it's the end of, of your break. And not that I get the, in quotes, the Sunday scaries or, or anything at this point, but doesn't love a nice little break but by the time I get to tomorrow I'll be in the thick of it and ready to go um, still mourning the 49ers loss a little bit it's getting easier and easier every day I had a fun time watching it with the fam but uh Walmart is fastly approaching and I'll check right back in with you okay triple order is picked up it's 19 degrees I had my little thin gloves, but I couldn't take the stickers off the totes. Um, so I had to lose the gloves, but maybe I can use them for the drop-offs. It's darn cold out there. But for 20 bucks, I'll stand outside for a couple minutes. Hopefully these uh, deliveries will be smooth and not in uh, too many high-rise apartments or inaccessible driveways. But all right, let's do it. All right, what is up? Triple order was dropped off successfully from Walmart Spark. Um, I'm multi-apping right now. Nothing great is coming up. Of course, I just missed a triple order for $24 from Aldi's. That would have set my day great. But that's the thing with these apps. You got to watch them. You know, you got to look at your phone a lot. Um, and I took my eye off it to go into the post office to mail this silly uh, record that I sold to 45 RPM. Doo-wop one, not too expensive, but oh well. So I missed that one. Uh, it's 9.07. I'm in the vicinity of Wegmans. Walmart Spark usually doesn't have an order come up maybe for another 10 or 15 minutes. Like all these, I missed a great nine o'clock one, but hopefully something will come up. It's a little snowy, so maybe people aren't wanting to go out. Um, We'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I'm at Wegmans. It's just uh, 9.12. I got very lucky. I pulled up here. I don't like to sit outside of the stores. I feel like it's a bit of a waste of time. Maybe if it was my livelihood, of course, I'd do that probably a little bit more. But I pull in and I see a few other shoppers that have been here. And it's, I haven't even parked yet. And I got a double order for $21. So I'm excited. I feel like I jumped the line a little bit. Of course, that's not up to me. I'm not sure why that order came my way. I think a lot of it's just the luck of the draw. But uh, this is, like I said, like 20. There's uh, 21 items for like 20 $21. That will get me to about $46, $45 for the morning. Uh, pre 10 a.m. Loving it. Let's do it. All right, checking in, 10.03 on this lovely morning as a part-time waiter and a part-time gig worker. Uh, just got my third order of the day for like 10 bucks and change. It's two items at Walgreens. It's gonna get me to 50, 
55, 56 dollars for the day. Definitely gonna do one more. I mean, if I could get a 20, 25 dollar order, boom, uh, I would love that. Sometimes these small ones, these 10 dollar ones, just keep the ball rolling, uh, stay consistent working, it all adds up, and then you get that big one and, and you're in good shape. When I was in Wegmans on the last order, I went through one of my regular cashier's lines, which is really nice. And, visits me at my restaurant a little bit with some of the other cashiers and she said that earlier in the day the cops were looking for an Instacart shopper and uh, I was like why? And she goes oh he might have been ex-con I couldn't get too much out of her um, and then I said you know if the cops are ever looking for me don't, don't tell them where I am so it's okay she goes same here and I go yeah and you know it's always kind of back and forth and I go if I'm in prison you can come visit me and conjugal visits and she was laughing and I'm like you know we can watch the Syracuse basketball game and Netflix and whatever happens and you know just being friendly and, and playful in a respectful manner and I was thinking the other day like um, how sometimes Instacart shoppers aren't viewed as regular customers and I was thinking to myself is that really the case? I mean, I'm sure a little bit. Um, do do grocery store employees, do they hate Instacart shoppers? I'm sure some do. I think some Instacart shoppers might give you or the others a bad name. I try to always be very respectful. I try to say hello, good morning. How's everything going? I'm very thankful. Trying to figure out things on my own as best as I can. Um, not only talking to people when I need something, but also throughout the day. And I don't feel too much like I'm treated. Sometimes they're, they try to rush you through the lines with the credit cards, a little bit of all these. But the other day, one of the ladies was like, you know, you're one of the most organized shoppers that we have. You don't see that that much. And, Probably because it's just I keep getting an influx of new shoppers that don't know anything. And of course, I was in that boat at one time, too. But, uh, you know, if you're doing the shopping, just always be respectful and, and polite and thankful. And, and I think you'll end up being just fine. Okay, we are up to a balmy 26 degrees. I'm in the groove. I'm getting a bunch of small quick orders at Wegmans for a decent amount of money. This one is uh, $13 for three items. Um, that's going to get me to about $80 for the day. If my math is correct. Which I think it is. I'm losing track, but yes, I think $87. Uh, so I've got to hit the thrift store, have a little lunch, looking forward to celebrating Valentine's with my wife and kids tonight, some cuddles, some food, and then getting back after it, uh, waiting tables tomorrow, but i still got lots of a good day to come today. I want to edit my Kinks album review, I want to edit yesterday's video, um, I want to start my next album review, I think I'm going to do it on the Beatles' first album, what else is going on? Um, just always, always something. Got a list of records for sale. It's the life that I've set up. It's a nice life. I'm happy. That's really all you can ask for. Okay, we are back for the last order. Orders of the day. I'm leaving Wegmans. That last order I did was three items, three bouquets of flowers. Flowers are not the easiest thing to find. It's not something that I see every day. I can't really identify flowers visually that well, uh, but I found them. And then on top of that, I could have just walked out 10 minutes ago and that would have helped me because I am multi-apping right now pretty heavily. Um, but I, I stood there and waited for about 10 minutes while one of the nice workers put the three bouquets of flour together. So they look really pretty with tulips in the middle. I'm going to drop these bad boys off. Then I'm going to go to Walmart Spark where I'm actually supposed to be at the moment. And 
and I'm gonna get a $20 order and that's gonna get me to about 90 for the day and then I'm just gonna chill and I will catch up with you then all right flowers down we're fine though everything is fine